Welcome to my lecture online. Now for those who like the FOIL method, we're going to do the very same problem we did on the previous video, but using the FOIL method. Now again, it's for equations, or not equations, because it's not an equation, it's just a trinomial, but it's for trinomials in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, and they tend to be the most difficult. So what we can do is as follows. We can draw a big cross. There's the FOIL. And on the left side, we're going to find all the combinations we can put down that give us the number 6. How can we get to number 6 when we multiply two numbers together? Well, it could be 1 and 6, it could be 6 and 1, it could be 2 and 3, or 3 and 2. Now on the right side, we do the same thing, but since we have all the combinations on the left side, we only need to use half the combinations on the right side. In other words, it could be a 1 and a 5, or a 5 and and a 1, and notice since we have a negative sign there, we can say negative 1, positive 5, negative 5, positive 1. We could also reverse that, but we don't need to do that because we have all the possible combinations on the, on the left side, so we're good to go. Now, how does this work? Well, we're going to take the first set of numbers here and multiply it times the first set of numbers to see if we get the middle term. In other words, 1 times 5 plus 6 times a negative 1. So 1 times 5 is 5. So 1 times 5. And we add to that a 6 times a negative 1, which is negative 6. And of course, that's negative 1, which is not a 7. So that doesn't work. How about the next set? 6 times 5 and 1 times negative 1. So 6 times 5 is 30, but then you can already stop because 6 times 5 is 30. We're not going to get to the number 7 when we start off with a big number like that. So the second set doesn't work either. How about the third set? 2 times 5, well that's 10. And 3 times a negative 1 is a negative 3. I add that together, I get a positive 7, which is the same as the middle term we have here. So bingo, we found the right combination. So we know that we can get the right factor by using this combination to get 6 and using this combination to get 5 on the first and the third term. So what does the factor form look like? Well, that makes it really easy. It's going to be, the factored form is going to be 2x minus 1 multiplied times 3x plus 5. And there again, we got the right factored form of that trinomial, and we got there pretty quickly, simply by using numerical combinations and the FOIL method. And that is how it's done, using the FOIL method. Ha, ha, ha.